Okay, I'm just gonna start recording because I don't actually. I do add in the intro afterwards, yeah, yeah, yeah. so oh, we're gonna cool. jump in. Yeah, do you have like music with it? Yeah. You have music? Oh, I've got music. Yeah, free. You haven't heard any of them? <laughs> no. Okay. Welcome everyone. This is the Film Glutton, and this is Buffet, featuring an Avengers: Infinity War spoiler roundtable, part four. This is it, the final part. You heard my theory in part one, and I teased theirs. So let's wrap this up by tying up a few loose ends and find out Carlos's wands and Rosemary's death prediction for Avengers 4. Just as part 1, 2, and 3, it's all 100% USDA certified spoiler talk. Enjoy the show, folks. Actors who were not, or the characters that weren't focused on in this movie will be more focused on in the next one, in the next part. Like, um, oh my gosh, bow and arrow guy. Oh, Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Oh Hawkeye. God, he had so much time in this film, a little too much is my problem. Right. No, so in the second one, I think it might even open with him. <laughs> it's, um, but so, like, what storyline do you go with him though? Do you know what I mean? Did he lose his family and now he's on this renegade? I wonder if they start the second one with him with his family. And then, boom, they disappear, and then he's on a mission. That'd be epic. You know? no, that would be epic. That'd be epic. That would be great. I would um, enjoy that. Well, we should be getting something at the end of Ant-Man and Wasp. I don't know, oh, man. I true. hope so. That's I true. really hope so. Do you think that... Uh, uh, we're going off topic here, but specu- like speculating-wise, I know everyone's like, so Ant-Man and Wasp, is that right before the events of Avengers 3? And then at the end of that, do we see people disappear? And then we go into uh, Captain Marvel, and that's in the 90s, and then we see where she is. It's just kind of... I had my theory. Remember I told you how I think Ant-Man's going to end. I think it's going to Ant-Man with Wasp kind of disintegrating and Ant-Man like, uh, okay, uh, let's get to work. Uh, like, it's time. Okay. You know? Gosh, tying everything into part four. Right. Yeah. It would be. Well, and okay. then you still have some of the Avengers mm-hmm. there or even Ant-Man disintegrating as well. He's not one of the original Avengers. That's true. The fact is they did it on purpose so that the reason the original Avengers, yeah. except Falcon, Falcon died, right? Yeah. But Falcon War Machine lived. War Machine was not an original, so that's, yeah. Yeah, I, that, that kind of threw the me only, off. That's the and only character people keep saying, like, the originals were there. I'm like, uh. Well, the Walking Dead girl, I, I keep freaking I her, forget name. her name. Too. But she, she survived, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, she did. Yeah. yeah. And then Mubutu took over as the new Black Panther. I, that's why I assume, because Black Panther's gone yeah, too, yeah, right? Gone. Since, since you mentioned Falcon, I just want to say his, the actor's name is Anthony Mackie. Yeah. I just want to say that we do know what his actual name is. Cut, <laughs> cut the check. In the, <laughs> the check. <laughs> in the last podcast, we referred to him as Kevin Mackey. Did we? Oh, we did. <laughs> oh, you guys did? Yeah. You guys combined <laughs> Kevin Feige and <laughs> Anthony Mackie. Juan well, one, one said it, but then I'm just like, oh, yeah, that's absolutely accurate. That's, that's, that's <laughs> it. You believe that's me, right? Mackie. That's it. That's great. I know my so, actors. We really, he had a great moment. I loved it when they started and Hulk's like, hey, well, what's going on? He's like, oh, this is kind of awkward. Yeah. Didn't he say that this is embarrassing? Or No, it's awkward. This is awkward. You know, that he said good. that because of the supposed love. Mm-hmm. That's right, what I'm right. hearing. Yeah. Yeah, That's yeah. yeah because the uh, Scar, I mean, um, the Scar, uh, Black, the Black Widow. Black Widow and Captain America did kind of, they we felt that they had a thing in Winter Soldier. And then when Avengers came out after that, like it was more of a the Hulk and hey big guy yeah hey big guy I think real quickly with that line the best is in Thor Ragnarok when Thor tries to use that on Hulk <laughs> so good like oh, I think yes, that's one of the absolutely. best callbacks because he, he yes. looks at him and he's like hey big guy <laughs> it's getting dark you know and, and I just think like of all the things so you realize that all the Avengers had to know that just in case he went loose it's just interesting, like, oh, so they all had to kind of know the, the words. So if he went ape shit, they, they could bring him back down. Right, right. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, so we started talking about Avengers 4, but let's go ahead and have that be kind of like a wrapping up point. I want everyone to go what they specifically want from that movie. A synopsis, a log line, bullet points, a little dialogue. A little scene reenactment. <laughs> what or we just... want for <laughs> Avengers 4? No, no, just, just what you expect from Avengers 4. What would you like to see? So, uh, uh, same things we've been saying with the, the fact that this is really half a movie. It's that I want to see it wrap up with something really epic because... I get it. We're going to lose some of these Avengers, and and I want them to go out in style, and I want it to feel like it was really nicely done. They got a great ending, and that these next characters who we're setting up for the future 
I feel really good about the future of, of so that. So how many of those original characters do you think we're going to lose in that one? I think we're probably going to lose. I want names. I, I think we're going to lose Captain America and Iron Man. Um, Stark, I can't think of, uh, you know. Uh-huh. Um, who else are we going to lose? Um, well, for those two for sure. Hulk? Hulk. Oh God! I don't are. know. I don't. I don't, think, I don't so. think so. I don't think so. Thor. In fairness, Thor. Kevin Feige said at one point in time he'd like to do a Hulk movie. So yeah, I don't, Universal I don't think Hulk, disagrees with that. I, I don't that's think very so. true. It's, I don't think so. I think it's really those main two. I maybe we'll lose Doctor Strange as well. Oh no! I, I think so. Only because Benedict Cumberbatch is just. I will hate you forever if that comes out. Too, <laughs> I, mean, I love Doctor what's, Strange. What's one? Thing? I will hold it personally mm-hmm. against you to say that. <laughs> I was just thinking, what what's the one thing that if you saw when Avengers Four comes out, what's the one thing you feel has to happen for you to come out of there going like, wow, that that blew my mind. I think some of them have to die. Yeah, I think so. Too. The stakes because have to the stay stakes, real. Yeah. Exactly. Stakes yeah. Have to yeah. Stay real. I have to feel like, I mean, in the comic books, Infinity War, people die. Of course. I mean, uh-huh. People die. So I have to feel like this is not a Disney movie. This right. is a Marvel movie. Yeah. And I don't want there to be a pretty ending where they all like, where all the people in the streets are clapping because it never fucking right. happens anyway. We made Nobody it. Well, yeah. We all made it. Yeah. <laughs> Right. But there is going to be some form of Return of the Jedi Ewok sure. dancing Shit. sequence. Let's hope not. We're, <laughs> Let's hope I heard not. Ewoks were reportedly going to be in it. What do they call that? The Num Num song or something? The Num Num song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would be really Num-num. good. Oh my god. That would be really yeah. good. I would like to see the Hulk dance to the Num Num song. I would love to see that. Mm-hmm. Those would be my guesses. Those would be my guesses. Anyway, go ahead. My guess, I would really like to see... I think I'd like to see... I don't know. I don't know what to expect because they've come out and said that we're going to blow your mind. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what I'd, I'd like to see, though. I would absolutely like to see the closing of the main characters that we get from the original Avengers that we've seen so much. I think, especially Iron Man, what more can you do with it? I don't think there's anything else. I think if you hit your, yeah. you know, I think the characters that we've hit our ceiling with, mm-hmm. you know, even thinking like, I think Captain America, absolutely, especially Bucky. Bucky's going to be interesting because in the real Captain America comics, he takes up the mantle of Captain America. Oh. But then also, too, does he become White Wolf? Because Black Panther's hinted at that as well. And White Wolf in the comics is Black Panther's sidekick. So what are we going to get with Bucky? Because that's an interesting dynamic as well. That would be... That just made me really excited. Because I actually didn't know that. Because I haven't read Black Panther. But because we talked about... um, I I really want the Falcon to take over. So it would be perfect if Falcon took over the Captain America mantle. That would be cool. Wow, I like that. You just gave me a little bit of hope. Yeah, Yeah, Falcon I think will... We'll go to Captain America. We'll become the Captain America, and then uh, Winter Soldier will be um, White, White, White Wolf. Wolf. White Wolf, yeah. I, I think that's the play they might go with. That's that would be genius. pretty genius. But where like would well, then then you come up with your own standalone movie for Falcon? Then as Captain America, I mean, where do you go with Falcon then? Do you just have him as one of the Avengers training all no, these people? I mean, I think the way that, that they've progressed their characters and movies, they, you know, look at, we got Doctor Strange. We got, that. that's a movie yeah. that I never thought we would see. And also, that's it's a good movie. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. I never thought we would get Guardians of the Galaxy. They're, right. they're, they're picking movies. I feel like they're, 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 the big thing that they have to continue is take these chances and they have to be willing to let characters we've already seen go. Even exactly. if they don't kill them, you know, it's like the comic book industry or the comic book world. Characters still exist. They just throw on in their own little mission or they're settling down or they're taking a break. That happens. So it can happen in the movies as well. So so you got so Carlos, you got Iron Man dead, you've got Captain America I got Iron dead. Iron Man, Captain America. I know Hulk? this might be blasphemous. I I think Hulk and Thor. I think you gotta get Ooh, Hulk Thor. And, Thor. and the reason I'm gonna say Thor is because if That's anything, I think <laughs> I like Thor. Because they want to make Ragnarok too. They've yeah. talked about it. They've talked about it too, but yeah. where do you go from there? Yeah. Like, you killed his sister. His sister's already gone. Like, what more does he have to, to live for? What more does oh, he God. have to. Not say Don't be listen mean. to this Thor. That, well, not to Carlos be, the, doesn't. He, you have reason to live, Thor. You, you do have, have reason, reason to live. But I'm just saying is that in every movie, you've lost everything. You've lost everything. You and you even admitted in Infinity Wars is that what else is there to live for? Natalie Portman's not even in it anymore. We're not even getting Natalie Portman, so your love interest isn't even there either. So my big question is, if you make another one, what storyline do you go with? You don't have any. You could, they no could go offense. for the. Uh, he's where he's trying to find Loki. 
Kind right. of like a takeoff of Search of Spock, Star Trek Three. <laughs> Just came up you with know, that right I think, now. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's. Po- I mean, I it, that would be a character I would definitely. I mean, Captain America. I would be more sad than I would for Tony Stark. Right. Yeah. Um, because I'm more of a Captain America fan. But oh, wow, it, really? it, but now I've become a Thor. A Thor fan. Right? I've never been a big Thor fan after Thor Ragnar. I mean, dude, those when those trailers hit, you're just like, I may be a fan. I don't know. Right, but how epic would it be though? Marvel making you a big uh, fan right, of, of Thor course. and then taking him away like of that. That would be great. You know, and then yeah, or epic. maybe going to where they take where maybe Captain Marvel, maybe she does something where she starts taking up the mantle because don't forget in the comics too, it's a female that takes over. Yeah, it's as actually Thor. Yes, it's actually yes. Jane. Oh. It's, it's a Jane. Natalie it's Portman. It's actually character. genius storyline too. Are gonna yeah. get yeah. Jane then to take and over? They could. Exactly. I'm just saying with Thor, I think especially in the movie, I think it really there's a lot of illustrations and a lot of things that point to him maybe that this is the ending mm. for him. That and that's oh, my well, biggest that's, thing. That's fascinating right that's the only thing that i'm kind of hesitant about i mean but i'd like to see that i want to see something just i want closure on characters that we've had i want to be surprised i want to be surprised and i want to be set for the next phase so you guys are both yeah you guys are both guessing interesting takes thor is your big one and then doctor strange strange yeah because i feel like this would be fascinating you know doctor strange where do you go with him too Right. right, Mordor. You could show him that, you know. <laughs> I mean, he didn't, he, you know, I feel like he's a character that is almost servicing the story, right. then has his own story to build. Yeah. And I, I think it would be really great because they took a really likable guy, actor, put him in this role. Yeah. We love him. We would love to see him sure continue. Luck. But man, if they wanted to surprise the crap out of us. No, that'd be good. It'd kill him. It'd be good. It would yeah. be heartbreaking. It would, and that be. would, be, it would, it would be, make me cry. I love him. I just always but, figured yeah. they would crush the, the time stone or whatever, yeah. getting rid of Thanos, and mm-hmm. then have that one be about him figuring out who he is now sure from being an asshole to a superhero to mm-hmm. right do i go back to being an asshole and i love the whole yeah. idea of gamora i think that would be an awesome setup especially yeah. with james gunn the uh guardians of the galaxy 3 the yeah. search for gamora volume 3 volume so, three. so <laughs> to really quick we're getting on the wands of mine for adventures 4 but uh, so hawkeye we, we started talking about that a little bit so you think they're gonna you guys think he's gonna take a major role i course. think so there's been yeah. so much backlash uh, yeah. without with no hawkeye right even there's a meme uh-huh. there's a meme one said oh, yeah. it's just hawkeye. There's, um, <laughs> there's someone made a poster where it's uh, of the infinity war movie where it's just hawkeye all over oh. like he's every character <laughs> they're like not enough hawkeye for you <laughs> Um, but the Russo brothers did already say that any character that was not featured oh, in this movie will be featured in the next one. So that is something we could expect. And there's already pictures of, of Hawkeye, of Jeremy Renner with a mohawk and tattoos, like doing scenes. Like so, we don't we don't really know. But I I, I don't know how big his role will be. But you know, there's a lot of fucking characters. Let me ask him. Do you kill Ant Man? Oh no, he's too no. new. I think he's too new? Yeah. He's too new. Interesting. Yeah. I was kind of thinking about it. This is, if you bring him into it, you know, if we're talking about the snap theory, then he's going to be gone too. Mm. You know? Mm. And then Captain Marvel, let me ask something. Are you kind of, I was telling, talking to Juan about this. Are you upset the fact that they reveal that it's Captain Marvel coming in at the end? Do you think mm. you would have liked it if it said like just received or, you know, the text message or the beeper? Or? I, I have to admit, I didn't know that that okay. was Captain Marvel's symbol. And so I actually turned to Juan and was like, what is that? That's, <laughs> you know what? I think everyone did. I heard in the theater yeah, people think, doing that. Like, yeah. oh, not a lot of people know. Okay. Yeah. It's not, a, it's not the most popular character, uh, but only people who know the comic books kind of have an idea. I mean, even that symbol, to me, I was like, is that, that? Yeah, it's Captain Marvel. Yeah, I didn't know. Okay, I want to hear uh, Juan's point on Avengers 4, but let me just say real quickly, I'll go and then I'll let you wrap us out. But I will say, on that one, I was, I love the movie. Yeah. Okay, I love the movie, but even, and I love that in in credit scene, but I would have loved it if this was the first movie where they just took out the in credit sequence, Mm -hmm. personally. Or a Spider-Man scene? It's blasphemy. With the Spider-Man's? Oh! Patience! Patience no, is a good thing. Just because I was so hit hard by that, and the the movie was so full of chalk and surprise, what's the last surprise they could give us? Mm. Not an end credit scene. Just <laughs> just this one. Every other one have it. Just this one. Just give us one. Just I love, fuck you one I more love, time, audience. I okay. love end credit scenes. Yeah, no, they're I good. Just, they're good. Yeah. You never get them. So now that we have them, and you know, it's not like you get them with every movie. 
I think growing up when I was watching any movie and, and I would hear, you know, you're, if you left the, the movie on, if it's on cable and you're just kind of watching it when, you're, when I was younger and it would trail into something else, it, it was always the best Easter egg. It was always the best surprise. And you'd be like, and you'd go to school and you'd tell everybody, did you know at the end of Lethal Weapon? They're, 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 they do another minute. It's really quick, guys. Um, I love them. So I Masters definitely... Of the, Masters of the Universe was my favorite when I was a kid. What was that? Was that... Uh, He-Man. Oh, He-Man. Uh, no, it was Skeletor. Um, Skeletor. He Skeletor. Comes out. I'll, be, I'll be back. Oh, you do a good Skeletor. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> that's really good. I work on that. Well, that's uh, what made Justice League, don't forget. I thought that was awesome when the way I did in Justice League with... The Rogue Gallery, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Introducing yep. it at yep. the end. That, that that was cool. I thought, but not having it, mm, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it's that. It's a very specific thing that's a want, John. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I just, I mean, I loved it. I mean, don't get me wrong. What made it worth it was not just the disappearing, but the, and not the Captain Marvel, but the motherfuck. Yeah. That, <laughs> that, that was, was amazing. My, the, big, the big question, though, what do you think he was going to say? Yeah, I wonder. Like, I wonder. Mother, that just cuts off so quick. So I was like, so who do you think is gonna die? Yeah, yeah. Um, what do you got? I guess it's gonna it's gonna be. I don't want Captain America to die, well, but it might be him. And- no, right? I, I, th- I think it'll be um, Tony Stark and Captain America. Those are the two obvious. So. I guess. I mean, everyone thought they were going to die in this movie. And honestly, when Tony Stark got stabbed, he got shanked. You're just like, it's happening. It's this is, this I is the moment. Like, I, I really, even though I kind of knew he was going to die, or I assumed he was going to die, yeah. I still fell for him. I, I was surprised that I, I was like, you know, maybe because it's all the movies he's been in. You're just like, you're just like, this is it, man. This is going to happen. Yeah. Um, for the next one, I, I don't know. I have no idea. I'll just leave it at that. I, I oh, just got to give us some kind of guess of who I think's gonna die. There was the the, the the craziest one. Like we got Doctor mm. Strange, we got Thor. Okay, we're all gonna bet. Those money are crazy after this. theories, by the way. <laughs> we're I all don't betting think, $100. I don't think Thor or or uh, who would you say Doctor Strange. Strange? I don't think those two are gonna die. I think we're um, gonna something. The biggest one that I think I'll throw a curveball for you guys. Okay. The, the one that I, I thought of that I I've, I've never told anyone till now. Oh wow, Kevin Feige. Oh, I think he will die wow. at the end. It's going to be a weird scene. It's going to it's they're going to break the fourth wall, and it's going to be it's going to blow your fucking mind. Be- before we turn it over, can I just say that the end of uh, Infinity War is a little bit like the leftovers opening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's actually really interesting, right? It because if you think about is. it. Is that a true thing? Yeah. Like oh, I thought you're just making another getting, leftovers show. Getting leftovers. I literally have never seen I've this seen show. Getting yeah. leftovers, I think half of yeah. the world disappears. No, it's not at, half of the world. Or, it's uh, oh, is it 10%. 10% of the, percent of the world disappears? So wait, so wait, it's really not about dinner. And that's a wrap. I want to thank all my guests for helping me out with this round table. Thank you, Juan. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Rosemary. Hopefully, we can do another round table sometime in the future. Until then, you can catch Carlos and I on DC Gluttons, and of course, yours truly, doing any random shit I decide to put, do on this channel. Until next time, this is the Film Glutton, reminding you to never turn down an upgrade. Have a good night, folks. Have a good night, folks.